they got away with it. Now let's go to Doris Burke, Doris. Hey, guys, the last few summers, Carmelo Anthony has incorporated boxing training into his off-season regimen. He said being a boxing what? fan since he was a kid, he was always intrigued by the elite conditioning level. How, is it? How did I fall him? I didn't touch him. The hand-eye coordination and physicality help both his Are you fucking and his kidding me right now? Power forward spot. Kevin? Yeah, with his hard charging style of play, God makes damn it. We're already right behind. He doesn't have the elite speed or shooting ability to be an impact starter. Wow. But Luke Rittenauer, with his experience in the league, God the way I he can run an games. offense, his ball handling skills, and his three point shot making ability, is ideally suited to be a backup point guard and a very effective one for any team in the league. Jefferson Come on! You know, it cannot be this hard to fucking to score. Because he needs to take it to the basket stronger. And the call will go against the prodigy. This is some bullshit. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. And we'll go to the line to shoot two. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Bucks. Now they didn't waste any time getting into a groove out there. They're dialed in from long range. You know, the other thing they've been able to do in the early going is to get to the free throw line and convert tonight. Tyson Chandler is checking not for New York. Issue. And Rittenauer's three-point percentage has fallen off for the last few seasons, Steve, but he's still one of the top mid-range shooters in the game. Yes, he is. Former 14th overall pick out of Oregon back in 2003. You know, defensively, he can sometimes be at a disadvantage, but he's really carved out a nice, long career. How is it this hard to score? Bucks leading by 10. Knight kicks to Henson, and it's thrown down hard wow. with both hands. What a smooth finish. Well, he's certainly the one they won on the end of yep. those breaks. He I am not always for this life. I'm not about this basketball life. No matter what right I try, they just don't let me pass. 121 left now here in the second. And the defense didn't have position. And I still missed that. I was right in front of the fucking hoop and I still missed that. What you the know, fuck? After losing Jeremy Lin going into last season, guys, I think some fans were concerned that the team might slip back to isolation basketball and their offense would stagnate, but instead they flourished as a three-point shooting team. That free throw good from Jefferson. Jefferson scores his first NBA points. Finally. You know, he's a player that flew under the radar at draft time, and while he may not have the raw talent uh, of some of the more highly touted prospects. There's a lot of things to like about this kid. Not the least of which is character, Steve. His drive and his effort level more than make up for the shortcomings he may have in other areas. And both free throws good for Jefferson. And back to the next personnel moves, you got to give them a lot of credit going out and finding shooters and defenders and Steve playmakers uh. to surround their star players with. Yeah, they ended up with Bargnani, putting him at the uh, kind of the no. four spot, adding another three points. Are you threat. fucking kidding me? Uh, the Knicks are always going to be aggressive personnel-wise. This was already a, a good team, second-best record in the East, but, you know, they're looking to get better. And stolen by Knight. Fuck my life. I don't get why is he doing that grab move? That, that. I'm pressing sprint and he's doing that arm he grab feeds move. It to over. Knight dishes to Ilias over. Yes, and Knight with the assist that time. Uh, Knight's got six. What did I just press off? It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. Yeah, they're making the right play, they're working together, and they're just looking for the best shot they can every possession. Rebound. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give them two chances at the free throw line here. In the second quarter, they and had the right approach. Very aggressive, driving, drawing contact, and creating opportunities at the nice. free throw line. Well, you know, if other things aren't working for you, Steve, getting to the foul line can be a good place to start to turn it around. A different look for Milwaukee. Pachulia comes in for Carlos Delfino. And it's Mayo in for Luke Ridner. Nice. Chandler hits them both. They need to run some drills or give me a two sore motor. They're on a 12 to 4 run. Three second difference between shot clock and I'm going to get a foot. Oh, shit. Run, 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 run. Oh. God damn Smith it. against Knight. Back to Mayo. Down to five on the shot clock. Come on! How many times are we gonna knock the ball loose from this guy? And he still fucking gets it back. What kind of bullshit is that? Shoot it, dude. This game is such. Oh. 
And now, brought to you by Sprint. God. It's opening day in the this NBA, and game. all is Looking right in the 2K sports world. Hello, I'm Damon Bruce. Milwaukee up on top against the Knicks in New York. The three-point shooting, ridiculous. They're knocking down everything. This is like the only sports game that I play that gives me trouble. I play FIFA, the perfectly fine. Side, I play tennis games, perfectly fine. They have underestimated but their opposition. Goddamn basketball. Their effort has been lackluster. The prodigy hasn't been able to get it going. Dreadful from the field. He hasn't connected on any of his shots. And that's all there is for me here in the studio. Time to send you back to my friend Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And standing tall over New York Harbor, the Statue of Liberty, as we welcome you back. New York needs to do a better job guarding against Mayo. He's got 11 points, and he's got two baskets from out in three-point land. I'm sure they'd like to get him a few more of those, so look for them to run some screens for him, try to pop him open. Knight passes to Delfino. Yes. It's stolen by Jefferson. Inside, all alone. Come on! To the dunk. Good aggressive move, and he'll shoot two. Let's take a look at last that year's leading my... shot block. You got <laughs> one of these guys in front of you when you're coming down the lane. And you look at Sanders, second in the NBA. Bullshit. A great defender. I think he cares more about shot blocking than any other element of his game, guys. Takes so much pride in it. That's why he was where he was on that list. That free throw, oh, no oh. good. You know, the Bucks were the last so team to make it into late. the Eastern Conference playoffs, and part of the reason that happened was because they didn't really do well against the rest of the conference. 24 and 28 against the East. Fine. And he sinks the second. Clark is you were in the rest of the Eastern care. Conference Winning. got the better of the Bucks. Had they been a little tougher against some of the lesser teams in their own conference, they might not have had to deal with the Heat in the first round of last year's playoffs. Well, the Bucks tried to mix things up last year. Remember, they made the big trade at midseason, oh, wow, two going actually. for JJ Redick and, and moving on from some of the young players. And, and I think that changed. And of course, the, the coaching switch from Scott Skiles to Jim Boyle. So they, they lost some of their momentum. Ah. And keeping us updated from the sideline. Let's Run, it dude. Doris Burke for an update. Hi, Doris. God damn it. Well, a curious signing for the Bucks this offseason, bringing in Pachulia on a three-year mid-level type deal. This is a team that already had a log jam in the front court with Sanders, Henson, Ilyasova, and Drew Gooden. The Bucks traded away promising forward Tobias Harris last year for what became a couple of second-round picks. They did much the same with Mba Mute. It's all about getting the most out of your assets. Guys, we'll see how the Bucks do shuffling their pieces around. Interesting nice. To see. Thanks, Doris. The chance here to check out how the Bucks ranked in the NBA last season. Second in blocks, fifth in rebound, and they were in the top ten in steals as well. I mean, this is a team that really gets after people defensively. Deflections, pressure on the ball, all of that leads to steals. And I think the, the thing that jumps out at me is the, the blocks per game. It just shows how well coached they were defensively. Great rotations, they closed out, and they forced their opponents into tough situations at the hoop. That's how they were able to block. Come on! Shots. Tell you what, guys, if you had I cannot score Martin, you anything. Jesus fucking Christ. Them all to rest with how he came off the bench for the Knicks. Couldn't have been easy for him, but he handled it well. That free throw, no good. Well, with Amari is dealing with those Am I going to have to like, look up online or something how really to take free throws? Because I'm just kind of winging this shit right now. And yeah, signing there in free I don't know. in 2010. He had a huge season, averaged 25 points a game. And <sighs> I think really energized that New York fan base. He was kind of the, the franchise player before Carmelo arrived. He hits the second from the line. Well, it went in. A lot of high hopes for the Knicks in last year's playoffs. They started off so hot, but then let the series against Boston drag on and on, and eventually. Ah oh, shit! Block him. Game. Yes. Thank you. You just saved that. my ass. Yeah, man. Trying to bounce. Milwaukee will retain possession. Here's what the schedule says for the New York Knicks and what it looks like. When this game is done, they'll be off to Chicago as they take on the Bulls. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Boy, a lot of fans around the league really focused on that matchup for Chicago. Nice. Oh, and he banks in the layup. Mm. It's got ten. 
And the Boston series did drag on him, you could tell. You wonder if they were a bit fatigued going into that Pacers series. Steve, Indiana just outplayed him, outworked him in, in every way in the second round. Yeah, I think it was a factor, Kevin, and really the Knicks have only themselves to blame. They had Boston down 3-1 and a home game to close Yes, it out. finally, Jesus. Done, and there's no doubt that that affected them against Indiana in the next series. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Sanders with a screen on him. No good from Delfino. Boy, even though he missed, you can't give up that kind of a look very often. Yeah, they're lucky that they didn't get burned on that one. Smith against Mayo. Smith kicks to Jefferson. Oh, come on. You know, in Larry Drew's case, it was a bit of an unusual situation once the season concluded. He was in the final year of his deal. The Hawks said we'll interview other candidates and left him free to interview for other head coaching positions, and he landed in Milwaukee. Six to shoot, and here's Ilya Sova outside, but they'll get another chance. It's rebounded by New York. Chandler's got his fourth rebound in this one. Stoudemire set the pick for Smith. It's Carmelo Anthony on the wing. Back to Smith. He kicks it to Jefferson. Fires from the line. Ah, and yes! Nice bounce off the right side. Woo! Jefferson's got eight. Woo! Steven back to Coach Drew. Okay. Of course, he ended up signing with the Bucks. Well, that was an interesting move for him to, to go from Atlanta to Milwaukee. Uh, you know, the Hawks were one of the oh, best dude. teams in the league last year. I think that's what the Bucks saw in Drew. And uh, that's the Run. for him to really help this team get the most out of its players. Come on! Yes! Rebound. Okay. We got this. We got this. We got this. Go! Yes! Yes! All right! All right! Woo! Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Come on. What are you gonna do? 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 Block him. Thank you. Nice D from Chandler. Next trail by the up. Well, I think Larry Sanders is one of the most improved players in the league, guys. I don't know where you stand on it, but. You know, he led the league in ejections, too, with five. He's got to control and manage his emotions a little better. Uh, it's Carmelo Anthony on cool. the way. Nice. And it's going to be two free throws through contact on the shot. Back to Sanders, he said. He's Woo. taking steps to keep okay. his composure. Okay, guys, okay. We're getting to We're doing uh, something. Feel the, the wrath of officials. Those technicals were piling up. Well, Kevin, he's already made some nice strides in his approach to the game. Just eating right, getting to the gym early. You, know, you really have to learn how to become a professional. And I think Sanders has made that next step. Oh, come on, Carmelo. You can't be dropping those. To make a big push forward by pairing some talent okay, together back on in the, the backcourt. But what seems to have happened Man, is they intense. are you now got back up to a C? in mediocrity, which is exactly where you Don't don't want to be. And the Bucks making a change here. Udo's checked in for Sanders. John Henson comes in for Eliasova. Gary Neal's checked in for Carlos Delfino. Yes. And Luke All right, we're behind by eight OJ now. Mayer. And back to Minnesota. They were the eighth seed in the East last year, but still finished six games. Yes, under better 500. not fuck this up. Still a lot of work for them to get above 500 and be in a position where, Steve, they are, you know, competing for home court in the playoffs. Yeah, a lot of changes for the Bucks in the offseason, but uh, a team that... It was Come able on. to sneak in last year. They're, they're hopeful to make it once again this season. Uh, but it feels like they're kind of stuck in the middle right now. Two for one Come on, guys. Here. Bring Come it on. back. Bring That's it back. I do. Make sure you get a couple of shots here to close this Yes. Quarter. Awesome. 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 All right. We're down by six right. now. Finger roll finish. Beautiful. We need three more glasses. Now we're Catch the Smith. Come on. Diop. 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 Don't let him score. There's 21 seconds. Right Not let him quarter. score. Gets the buck. Fuck. And the Bucks lead by eight. Now they really needed that one to possibly stem the tide. Come on, guys. Come you know, on. when you have a lead sometimes, guys, you exhale a little bit, get too comfortable with it. And as a result, they've given up a big run. 
Felton dishes to Shumpert. Come on, Shumpert. Back to Felton. Out to Shumpert. And will count. Three. No Damn it. Trying to beat the buzzer. And that does it for the third quarter. Both teams clicking offensively as we approach the fourth quarter. Bucks lead by eight. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. It's a Halloween broadcast of the NBA. Carmelo Anthony and the New York Knicks take on Joachim Noah and the Chicago Bulls this Thursday, 7 p.m. Central Time. Joachim Noah. All right. Fourth quarter, just Fourth quarter now, guys. The last event. quarter of the game. And an important part of every team's game. We will look at the hustle stats for the Bucks. Their activity at the defensive end, Kevin, has been really impressive. Attacking and coming away with steals. Yeah, All right, let's try to get back in the game. Oh, wait. They didn't put me back in the game. We lost. We lost right there. Oh. A lot of block shots tonight. So no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. Not much to be critical of with this win, Clark. Not at all. I mean, they showed up not just to play. They showed up to give great effort and to win, and they did both. And that'll wrap it up for Clark Well, we tried, Steve guys. We this gave it our home. best shot. Thanks for tuning in. Well, at least we didn't do horribly this time. And we didn't get negative points. So that's a good thing. Mm -mm -mm. But damn, if this game ain't hard as fuck to play, yo. Who was the player of the game? OJ Mayo. Yo! Uh, one, two, three, go! Waking up in a dream. Sleepwalking on another big stage You never heard peace till you hear people scream Your name and you're the son I'm so far away from the place Okay Well guys I think I'm gonna call it a day right there Uh As I always wanna thank you For sticking through our playthrough Hope you had fun watching me get my ass kicked and raging But it's been fun. We do it for the people. I'm not really a sports game person, but you gotta be non biased and objective and all that good stuff. It's a fun game, don't get me wrong. I just think the learning curve for the game isn't that friendly towards newcomers. But it is what it is. As always, until next time, keep on gaming. Damn, I make a sexy basketball player.